So Hunt Showdown released a new medium ammo rifle with the Tide of Shadows event. Let's check this baby out. Uh, 510 freaking dollars? And it costs more than this? Berthier Model 1892. The Labelle, the Mosin, and the Crag? And it does less damage? WTF am I paying for here? Obviously, if it costs more, it must be better, right? Anyways, the drilling is Hunt's first ever three-barrel weapon where the top half is a double-barrel medium ammo rifle that fires normie, dum-dum, or FMJ rounds. You also get an under-barrel shotgun that shoots buckshot, penny shot, flechette, or slugs. Is it unique? Yeah, sure. Is it worth $510? Eh, let's not be too hasty. With the normie rounds, you're getting 120 damage to the chest, which is in the neighborhood of other medium ammo rifles and just under its long ammo cousins. Along with that, you get an effective range of 170 meters and great bullet velo at 530 meters per second. That sparks quality velo right there, baby. You know we gotta see how we did on the range though. With normie and dum dum rifle ammo, damage to the body drops off after 20 meters while FMJ drops off after 41 meters. For the shotgun, Buckshot drops off after 10 meters. Penny Shot did something weird and registered 136 and 150 damage at 10 meters, so I think it's safe to say that after 8 meters, it's likely to fall off somewhere. Slugs, on the other hand, are effective until 12 meters. Overall, the Buckshot option is around the Caldwell Rival equivalent, just below the Romero, and doesn't hold a bright candle to the premier options like the Slate and Crown. Here's what I think you're really paying for. One, this incredibly clean sight. Two, it saves you another weapon slot, meaning you can equip a small crossbow with new dragon bolts, or you can carry a saber or machete as a secondary. And three, you get a 0.6 second cycle time that's on par with these guns. Basically, you could two-tap a player and drop them in just over one second, which is faster than it takes many weapons and hunt to cycle around. And you can do all this without traits. With most other weapons, you need a trait to stay ADS and shoot faster. It's not an expensive trait, and with the death cheat bug, you could stay with a cheaper option like the Vetterly or Centennial once you get that trait. With the drilling, you do need to reload more often than other weapons, but it's quick. Can you get equal or similar value with the Lamat Carbine? Kinda? And no. It's similar, yes, in that you get an underbarrel shotgun. You do get a faster fire rate with less reloads, but you also get lower initial damage, effective range, more damage drop off at distance with less bullet velocity. Now for the $1 million question. Is the drilling worth $510? No, I'll say it right now. It's overpriced. So you might not like my price estimate, but I think it should be around 400 or less. First off, anyone new to hunt or low on funds is not gonna be able to run this weapon a lot. All right, especially if they're using tools and consumables. A string of bad games later, you're low in funds and you're back in the commoner's arsenal anyways, using things like the Vetterly and the Centennial, which I think you can get equal to or greater value as long as you use the traits. But I'll offer this. As a solo, the drilling does offer a lot more versatility, Although I think if they made it to where you could switch the firing modes while in ADS, and then if you add a little more power to the shotgun bit, then maybe come back to me about it costing as much as it does or slightly less. Now I'm just a normie player, okay? I'm not a big deal hunt showdown guy whose opinion you should take with like uh, actual value, maybe with a grain of salt, but I am interested in hearing what you all have to say in, the, in your thoughts on the drilling thus far. P.S. The Dum Dum rounds have the same velocity as the FMJ rounds, which probably is a bug or a balancing thing. I'm not sure yet. Also, here's some fun highlights and kills from me using the drilling, because I know you guys like that stuff. I guess we're in a fight. Bleed to death.
There we go. Got him. This is not good. <laughs> In this short scene, the enemy team had just collected the bounty. So I figured I'd wait just outside of their scan range and then surprise them with a big old drilling. There they go. They don't know I'm here. There we go. Someone's throwing freaking knives at me, dude. Negative. Now he's got to find the one with the Springfield. He's bleeding. Here we go. Nobody likes to be on fire. Oh, that's not good. They're in the fort area. Will they come out? I don't know. It's only a duo, I think. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, shit. I thought I heard him. Rotate. We only got eight shots left, so we gotta be a little careful. Nobody likes to be on fire. Thank you, zombies. Oh, we're out. We are down to the drilling, okay. If I was him, I'd pick up that bounty, and I'd come fuck me up. Oh. Probably gonna go for the res here. Woo! 
Never ever quit, I just kept on pursuing. Never ever quit, I just kept on pursuing. Kept, kept on pursuing. Kept, kept on pursuing. Yeah.